what is deal sourcing? And it's probably not what you think. Most people, when they think about deal sourcing, they think about finding a property that they can charge somebody a fee for and send it to them. Well, really, that's more deal packaging. Let's go back to the basic and let's talk about what actually deal sourcing or deal packaging is. Now, when we want to make a fee from sitting in the middle between a transaction between people, so you've got a seller and you've got a buyer and then you've got you in the middle. Now, the seller of the property, very much like if they want to sell a property or go to an estate agent, the estate agent, one that sits in the middle, then they go and find a buyer for that property. They advertise it, they market the property, they do the viewings, they negotiate it. That's the person in the middle, the estate agent doing that bit. And then once they've got something agreed or in principle, they'll be going back to the owners hey look this is what we've agreed is everybody happy and as long as everybody's happy with that arrangement they'll organize the paperwork i.e what's called a memorandum of sale and they'll send that off to the solicitors the solicitors at that point then take over they do the legal work the due diligence make sure those things are uh, they're happy with those and this is not due diligence from an investment point of view this is due diligence on the legal work that the property is what it should be all the legal titles are in order and correct that's what they're doing. Then they reach a point which is to complete that deal. That might take a few weeks. It could sometimes take months to get to that point. And then at the point of completion, uh, the contracts are signed, money is uh, exchanged and the keys will be handed over. That's really a normal purchase process. So when we talk about deal sourcing, it's very, very similar. There's very little difference. We still have a seller over here. We still have a buyer over here and we have us in the middle. Except we're not estate agents, we're deal brokers or deal sources or deal packages, whichever phrase you want to use. Because what we're doing is we're sitting in the middle, but we are not going to charge the uh, the seller a fee. We are going to charge the buyer a fee. And that's the primary difference between what we do and what an estate agent does. Otherwise, we're still selling property in a very similar way to an estate agent sells. So what we are looking for is a buyer that will pay a fee. Now, why would that buyer pay you a fee? Well, when we talk about the estate agent, the estate agent will get paid by the seller because the agent is marketing for them and selling that property, trying to get them the best possible price. As a deal broker, you're not trying to achieve the highest possible price. Effectively, what you're trying to do is find something where there's an investment opportunity. Either the price is lower or the return is quite high. Your return on investment from that deal will be quite high. It's potentially a HMO or service accommodation or a flip project. So you're going to make some money from that deal. So we are charging the investor a fee to say, hey, look, here's an opportunity for you to make money. You can either flip this, service accommodation, HMO, whatever it is. Our job as a deal sourcer should be to present that information, to analyze it and show them, here's the opportunity. So we've done some of the work, we've done some of the due diligence for them, and they will pay us a fee for that. Essentially, that's what your deal sourcing uh, is or what people generally refer to as. That. Now, when I talk about deal sourcing, I talk about finding property deals. I the deal sourcing stage is when you're sitting in front of the owner of a property, you're negotiating, having a conversation and securing that property. The finding of the deal is the deal sourcing. Then putting that together and offering it to an investor is what I refer to as deal packaging. And you're brokering the deal at that stage. Now, people will refer to this in different ways, but it's important to understand that it means different things to different people. So when you're having a conversation with somebody and somebody talks about sourcing or packaging, I'll ask them to explain exactly what that means or what that covers so you understand what part of the process you're doing. Because there's too many deal sources out there or you know purported deal sources out there that will present something and there's no due diligence, there's no research behind it. It's just they found something on right move and say, oh, look, this got four rooms and you could turn that into a HMO. Well, really, there's no value in that for a buyer to pay a fee for that because they, the broker is not really adding any value, the deal sourcer. The deal sourcer should be bringing enormous value not only by having found something, but appraised it, assessed it, shown how you can make money on it. So there's a level of confidence there for the buyer. Now, the buyer should still do their own due diligence to double check the data, make sure they are personally satisfied before they commit to the deal. But the deal sourcer should be presenting all this information to them. So they're checking the data as opposed to researching it all from scratch.